get that as well. We're going to open the same as the coach. Want to jump in questions? I just thought uh, that we played solid defense, um, stole a few bases. Uh, I thought that, uh, you know, both teams competed hard. It looked like that uh, after the third, we had the game in, in control, but they kept fighting and fouled off a lot of pitches and, uh, you know, got Hagen's pitch count up pretty good. So, obviously, we had to go out and get him. Um, it was, a, I don't know, it was, a, it was a big inning that we put together there in the third and started with the hit by pitch couple of great bunts and a uh, couple of big hits after that. And, uh, you know, it could have been a, could have been a seven or eight run inning with maybe just one more big hit. We ended up hitting into a double play, uh, probably kept him in the game a little bit there, but, you know, for the most part, uh, I thought, you know, Adcock came in and did a great job and then, you know, led better struggle through a lot of pitches and then uh, Gage Wood was really good. And that's kind of what we've been seeing from Gage and, didn't see it in his first outing last week in, in Arlington. And then we got him back out there again on Sunday, a little more of himself. And then today, I think he relaxed and and, and pitched really well. So, I don't know, two more to go. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned Hagen's got his pitch count up. What did you think of the, his stuff today? How did you think he threw? Well, his stuff was good. His, his command wasn't as good as like last week. And, you know, because last week it was just everything was everything was working as far as, you know, throwing strikes and being around the zone today. Uh, I mean, it's a lot, a lot of different elements. And uh, first home game, I hyped up a little bit. I just didn't think that he commanded the ball like he can and will. So, uh, but his stuff was really good. And Hagen, how would you assess your day? And how frustrating is it when they're fouling off pitches like they were today? Uh, I thought I did okay. I Glad I battled through. It could have been a lot worse than what it was. I thought the defense played pretty good behind me and run scored a lot. So it was pretty easy to pitch like that, even though I struggled a little bit. Yeah, Kindle that walk off home run there in the seventh. What were you looking for and what'd you get? Oh, uh, yeah. Now, bats early in the game. Uh, I'm struggling to stand back a little bit. So I was telling myself, you know, drive something through the middle or the other way. You left the fastball over the plate and pretty good swing on it. And then, coaches, what'd you think of his home run there? Yeah, he drove it. I mean, the ball had been traveling left field um, today at all, didn't in batting practice. Wind did die down, obviously, but uh, he, he hit it a long way. That's a that's one of the deeper parts of the park and hit it opposite field. Showed that he really stayed on the ball. He, you know, he got, he got his lower half involved and, you know, ball floated out of the park. It was good to see. Coach, obviously no Stovall today. Would you mind providing an update on that situation and just what you thought of Peyton Holt filling in for him? Yeah. Stovall, you know, hurt his hand the other day, slide into second, you know, that stolen base. And it got better for a couple of days in a row. And then from yesterday till this morning, uh, just felt like it stayed the same and it was a little sore. And, uh, had an x-ray already. That was negative. It had an MRI. And I'm waiting to find out here in just a minute. Uh, we think he's going to be good, but I just – didn't want to put him out there today. And I thought, you know, I, I thought that uh, all the guys that we put in there, even McLaughlin didn't have a great head to play, but, you know, Holt had a, had a good day, two for two for four and uh, made a couple plays in the field and good to see him swing the bat and go the other way. I guess both of y'all can really speak on this, but what were those conversations like in that fourth, fifth inning when the pitch count was getting up and what were the decision like to send him out for that fifth inning? And then did you have like a number well, in mind? pitch count on him. I mean, we could have been up 15 to nothing. And I see he didn't get the win. I think he should get the win uh, because he was coming out. It's early in the season. That's his W. That's the way I look at it. So I just noticed that. That bothers me because we put him on a pitch count. You know, and if we're up 17 to two in the third, we pull the pitcher, I think he should get the win. But that's another story. I Coach, you remember the question. Sorry. There were some stoppages in play toward the end of the game. What was what was that all about from what you could tell? I don't know. You can get their coach in here and find out. I think it had to do with balls rolling around the center fielder. And I think he told the coaches they were getting the ball thrown at him. I don't know. I never saw the ball thrown at him. I just saw the ball out there and then he so one launched into the back into the crowd, then two into the lake. So is that a lake or a pond or what is that out there? Lake spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We tried to get him to announce it. Finally, they did because I guess 
they felt like it wasn't safe. And and I get it. I mean, if the balls are being thrown at the center fielder, I mean, I don't blame him. Coach, so no Stovall, but Peyton Holt was out there at second, had a couple RBIs today. What do you think of his performance? Well, I just kind of made that comment. I, I I thought he did a great job. And sometimes, you know, when you don't really notice a guy, as far as not doing anything wrong, he's had a pretty good day. And, uh, you know, got got a couple of big hits. And I think one of them was with two outs that drove in a run, maybe maybe both of them. Uh, that was good to see. You know, he he's a winner. He's, he's won – in high school football and did a great job over at Crowder and he likes to play guys like him a lot. He's a tough kid. And, uh, you know, I'm glad he can help contribute. Uh, Slavens had a couple chances at third. The first one was particularly impressive. What did you think of Slavens? Third? I thought he did a good job. You know, uh, Brady played third base and shortstop in high school and he played third base in junior college and, uh, wanted to play third base when he got here three years ago. And, it's a pretty good third baseman, so we moved him around a little bit. But I, I thought he did a good job. That was a tough play. It was a tough in-between hop pick, and he moved his feet and got the short hop and made a nice throw over there. I think once he did that, he was he was all good. In the third inning, when y'all scored six runs, it started with a couple infield singles uh, or infield or bunt singles. Uh, what did you think of that? Was was Bolton bunting for a hit, or was he trying to sacrifice him over? By, pushed by the pitcher, right-hander, you know, 5'11", pretty quick out there. Almost got to it, but it, he tried to rush and got by, under his glove. And, uh, you know, the way that works is if you, if you get a bomb, you're going to get a hit. Um, if, if you don't, probably going to get a sack. And then Tavian laid down a beautiful bump for a hit. Kind of the same there. You get a sack or you get a base hit. Just And uh, he, he couldn't hardly roll it any better than where he put it. Kendall, that's the second time you've ended a game here with a three-run home run, a little bit different than, than last year. Mm -hmm. But going up there, did you have an idea that you might end the game? And, and can you take us through that at bat? Uh, I didn't. I mean, obviously, I wasn't going up there planning on hitting a home run or anything like that. But uh, mainly just focused on the approach. Uh, like I said, staying back, driving something back to the middle. Put a good swing on it. Coach, you said yesterday on uh, the radio that Jackson Wiggins had his Tommy John earlier this week. Uh, yesterday. That, okay. What's yeah, the – uh, can you yeah, give us an update on him? Four. Yeah, yeah, because I said, what can I tell you about it? I mean, is there any update you can give other than that he's, he's had fine, it? fine, probably going to, you know, they rehab him real, for a day or two there, and and uh, then he'll be back. And then today was your 800th victory at Arkansas. Does uh, that mean something to you? Yeah. I mean, I've had a lot of good players. Hopefully we can talk about it again in another 100, but, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's awesome. So Chase Forpin reached in four plate appearances. Just what do you think of his game and then the two stolen bases he had as well? So who did you say? Jace Forpin. Sorry, I mumbled okay. it. Jace, he had a really good day, obviously. A couple walks hit by a pitch. Uh, if you're going to get hit by a pitch, it's nice to get hit one that two or three hops you. Probably doesn't hurt as much. But uh, almost hit a home run. Just took it a little bit foul. I mean, he had a line, line the ball extremely hard on a single. Think about his last at bat. Um, I think it was Tuesday night. He hit the bat, ball about as hard as you can hit it straight to the center fielder. I think he got a sack fly. He's seen the ball good, confident. Um, you know, it's good to see. You know, our last game on that Sunday out there, he had, a, he had an outstanding game as well. So, swinging it really well. Dave, is there any update on Harold Cole? We noticed we didn't see him out there. Yeah, his back's been bothering him just real tight. So, that's all I know right now. Um, you know, we just – not even sure exactly how he heard it. Uh, you, you stuck with McIntyre for tomorrow. Uh, what went into that decision, and what are you looking for to him tomorrow? Well, you know, we got to show him a little confidence there, uh, number one. Uh, I think he deserves another shot. I think that uh, I feel like Coach Hobbs and Mac figured out a couple things on his mechanics. I mean, the issue's been he's been throwing the ball belt high, and he can't pitch there. He's got to pitch around the knees with movement. And uh, – so we'll see if, if it goes good early. That means he's probably throwing the ball down in the zone. If, if they're getting good swings and hitting balls hard, then, you know, we'll have to make a move. But we just felt like we had to give him an opportunity. Uh, Kendall, you've been climbing your way up the batting order. I'm curious just how you feel about that. Uh, yeah, obviously um, Peyton was in there today. Uh, but, uh, yeah, saw it. It was pretty cool. Um, but, I mean, no matter where I'm at in the order, I just want to do my job and help team win. Anything else in the group? It was Kelly okay there. It's like he's holding his hand or something. I think he's uh, 
I think he got tied up with the catcher a little bit, or the pitcher, whoever's covering the plate there. And I think, I think he hit his face. He should have had a little better jump. He wouldn't have been that close. But I'll talk to him about that later. Thanks for the time. All right. Remember, you said we're to win. Who was it? Last game against Grand Canyon. Last game oh, what? of the year. Oh, yeah, the one in uh, 16. Okay, yeah. No, no, no. no. 20, 20, 20, 20. 20.